This is Twit. While we're on the subject of things written in PHP, and <laughs> I'm already on record about how I feel about that. Uh, yet By the way, another, it has garbage collection. I just want to point out. <laughs> yeah, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Uh, <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. We'll, we'll take, take care, care of, of that for you. Yet another WordPress add-on. This one called PHP Everywhere. And Leo, a better name has never been coined. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And PHP Everywhere really doesn't sound like a good idea. It was responsible for placing more than 30,000 additional WordPress sites at risk of remote code execution and trivial remote code execution, you know, and that's the worst. Now, the fact that Magento, which we were just talking about, which powers one-third of the world's highly targeted e-commerce sites, was also written in PHP demonstrates that it is definitely possible for sufficiently skilled developers to author secure website code in PHP. I'm not saying it's not. That's not the issue. The issue is that PHP's deliberately and seductively easy-to-use design, which is what makes it so popular, encourages unskilled developers to place their code online. You know, if you had to write it in C Sharp, which has got lots of little pointy sharp bits on it, you know, you probably wouldn't, right? So people don't. They use PHP because, oh, look, I wrote a line and it worked. Ship it. Um, in fact, that pithy little slogan I coined a few weeks ago comes to mind. Most developers stop working the moment their code starts working. We know that there's a big gap between code which works and code which is also secure against attack. And due to the online website environment where PHP typically finds itself, that often leads to trouble. Um, you know, I now have a bunch of stuff at GRC written by other people in PHP. And the only way I was ever going to allow any of that near GRC's network was by putting all of it on its own physical server located behind a physical firewall, I mean, like with wires, <laughs> that almost completely cuts it off completely from the rest of GRC's network. If, I mean, I'm happy to have that stuff. The forums are great. And my, you know, grc.sc, the little link shortener, is something called uh, URLs, is a nice little bit of PHP I picked up from someone. But it's all sequestered behind a firewall. So if something gets loosed there, at least I have containment. Okay, so today we have PHP everywhere. Get a load of this. It's like meta bad. The, the WordPress plugin, this PHP Everywhere, as it's named, uh, has its name because it, I can hardly even say this, it deliberately allows site owners to execute PHP code anywhere on their site. Uh, according to the add-on's description, quote, this plugin enables PHP code everywhere in your WordPress installation. Using this plugin, you can use PHP in pages and posts. Wait, posts? You can, you can put PHP in posts? Oh, Lord, what, that's a what, terrible... What could, what could possibly, possibly go, go wrong? Go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> and also in the sidebar. Oh, yeah, it's just a, embed it. What the hell? Yeah, its description says everywhere, and it goes on to boast. It says, the plugin also supports different user restrictions and multiple PHP instances. So feel free to just insert PHP in every part <laughs> of your WordPress site. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Example, and then he says, examples of use. Create custom contact forms and process any kind of data or upload. 
generate user-optimized content. Customize every little detail of your WordPress installation. And then we add, what could possibly go wrong? That's right. Create a handy-dandy WordPress add-on that encourages site operators who may barely be able to code to liberally litter PHP everywhere around their site. And you too can earn not just one, but three of those oh-so-rare CVSS scores of 9.9, as this author did, accompanied by three of your very own CVEs, CVE 2022, 24, 663, 664, and 665, each with a CVSS score of 9.9. As it turned out, PHP Everywhere's functionality, not surprisingly, allowed the execution of PHP code snippets through WordPress shortcodes. Unfortunately, WordPress allows any authenticated users to execute shortcodes via the Parse Media Shortcode AJAX action. And some plugins also allow unauthenticated shortcode execution. As such, it was possible for any logged in user, even a user with no permissions, such as a subscriber or a customer, to execute their own arbitrary PHP on a site that had PHP everywhere, after all, everywhere, <laughs> by sending a request with the shortcode parameter set to they open a block, uh, so uh, left square bracket, PHP underscore everywhere, close left bracket, that invokes that add-on, then whatever PHP you want, and then you close the block with a backslash PHP underscore everywhere. And not surprisingly, executing arbitrary PHP on a site typically allows complete site takeover. Now, we've been here before, right? Allowing users to execute their own code is reminiscent of all the persistent problems we used to have with SQL injection. That inspired this classic XKCD cartoon, four frames. We've got the first frame. A mom is listening on the phone. She's picked up the phone. And we hear, she hears over the phone, Hi, this is your son's school. We're having some computer trouble. And mom says, oh, dear, did he break something? And the school replies, in a way, and then asks mom, did you really name your son Robert Drop Table Students? And mom says, oh, yes, little Bobby Tables, we call him. And the school says, well, we've lost this year's student records. I hope you're happy. And mom replies, and I hope you've learned to sanitize your database inputs. Because, of course, drop, <laughs> drop table students is a command that SQL could execute. And somebody typed it in to, uh, as the student name and blammo. Um, so this is a perfect case in point here. Uh, this should have this PHP everywhere should obviously never have been allowed to happen. But there's no oversight, and the deliberately created ecosystem surrounding WordPress encourages this sort of thing, right? It's like, oh, you know, we you know create add-ons for WordPress. They're great. And, you know, since none of my ranting is likely to change WordPress's approach one iota, I understand, my only hope and my purpose here is to adequately instill in our listeners a sober appreciation for the dangers inherent in using third-party add-ons with WordPress. It's clear, as you've said, Leo, that the base WordPress system itself is mature, was professionally written, and is being professionally maintained, just like Magento. It's secure and bulletproof. But that security doesn't necessarily pertain in any way 
to anything that's added to it. And so it's super critical that that our listeners keep that in mind. That is, you know, just because we're, the base WordPress is solid doesn't mean some wacko can't create PHP everywhere. And gee, isn't that convenient? People can <laughs> put PHP in their posts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Log for J, anyone? Wow. <laughs>